The Zoo is Google's creative think tank for brands and agencies. We essentially help both agencies and brands to think more about how you can use Google's tools and platforms and services in more interesting and creative ways. I would say our key focus is probably on technology, because uh, obviously we know a lot about uh, technology at Google, and uh, about data and how you can use data in unexpected and fun ways. So tell us about uh, using tools, the powerful tools of Google, and how that sort of intersects or could intersect with the creative process because we hear so much about the power of targeting, mm -hmm. the algorithms, the geeks. Where, do the, where does the creative process fit in? Well, we don't talk much about numbers in the creative process, thank God, because um, math is certainly not my strength, not how I ended up in this, <laughs> in this uh, job or in this uh, line of work uh, overall. But to give you a couple of examples of some new uh, tools that we have uh, at our disposal at the moment, uh, you may have heard of Tilt Brush. Uh, it's one of my favorite new, uh, new products that Google has. So it's a virtual, uh, virtual reality drawing tool, basically, where you stand inside of a black box, you have an easel in one hand and a brush in the other, and you can essentially create things that you can walk around, you can create rooms that you can walk into, etc. all depending really on just your imagination. And because virtual reality is such a new beast, we don't really know how brands are going to use it, how consumers are going to use it, how we're all collectively going to use it, and I just find that really fascinating. Um, you may also have heard of Daydream, the uh, mobile virtual reality platform that uh, Google's launching. Uh, actually, the software development kit came out today, so you can start playing with it now. Um, but there's also hardware to follow. So that whole space, I find, it reminds me a little bit about what the web was like back in 95, 96. Um, we all knew it was going to be huge. Something was going to happen that would change the way uh, uh, you know, we interacted with each other. We didn't know how big. Um, it feels to me like virtual reality and, by extension, augmented reality is sort of at that same stage where we know something big is about to happen. We don't quite know what it is yet, but it's really exciting to be part of. So, communicating with the creative community as you do, what's their kind of attitude, interest? Um, what's the educational process with them on these new tools? I mean, interest is huge. You know, as a creative, every time someone can give you a new toy to play with, you're, you're thrilled, you're so happy, right? I mean, it's, it's literally like someone comes and gives you a present, you unwrap it, and you have no idea what it is that you've been given until you figure out, you take it apart, you build some things with it, um, et cetera. So there's definitely a lot of interest. For agencies, it's often a matter of exploring with their clients. What are the client's needs? What is the brief that they're trying to solve at any given moment? And how can you use these new toys in order to solve that brief? And, um, and I think a curious mind is the one thing that keeps you going as a creative. If you're not inherently curious, then um, you know, you're probably in the wrong line of work. How do you size up this sort of moment in time in the creative agency world or the creative agency? Is it, um, and in, it's, it's really changed in a big way. How do you sort of see things and the opportunities and the role of the industry? Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> I think it's getting harder for agencies to be what used to be known as full service. There are so many things you have to be proficient at today and it's almost impossible to have everything in house. So I think we're truly entering what I call the age of collaboration, where you have to partner up with people in order to do all the things that you need to do for your clients. And as a creative director, I'm a control freak, right? I mean, you kind of have to be in order to get your single-minded vision through. But I think you have to be a control freak with friends now, uh, who may be control freaks in their specific areas of expertise, and you can all sort of be control freaks together. Because there's just no way that any one entity can manage everything perfectly anymore. Cool, and um, speaking to the uh, audience today, um, you know, what do you think the interest is of the publishing side, which is primarily you know, you know, the IAB. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think is important for the publishers to understand about their opportunities and challenges? Keep exploring. I mean, that's what I say to anybody, no matter what technolo technological challenge you have, is you know, keep trying things. It's so easy to test uh, everything these days, and you know, what's successful for you might not be what's successful for the next guy or the next brand. So just always keep testing, keep iterating until you find out what works, and never rest on your laurels. There's always new things happening and new things to try out.